my channel. It's Wednesday. Appreciate you being here. Order that I told you guys about the other day, the 19 for, you know, like six cases of water for like two miles. I just, I just got that order myself. $14.40. $12.40 with the face pay and $2 was the tip. It was 10 one gallon jugs of water. So I took it. It was only going like a mile. I don't see why anybody wouldn't take these offers. It literally took me like 15 minutes tops. And uh, now, now we're on a McAllister's for DoorDash. 650 for about five items going four miles. A little over my standard, but you know, I'm trying something a little different. I want to keep moving. I've done a few orders since I uh, last talked. I've done a, I'm currently on an Ahi Pokey bar. I think it's $6 for a couple of miles. I've done a $6 one mile. I think it might have been a Panera. It, anyway, it's right here. You'll see it. I've also done a double order for a Great China and Walgreens for about $9. Like, it, I think the heat is frying my brain. Never been good with uh, remembering these miles to dollars and stuff. But I think it's $9 for about four miles. The guy texted me and asked me, was $5 okay? And I, I told him I appreciate it. You know, it, it was fun. You know, it's no worries. I am talking out of my head. I don't know what any of these were, but they are popping up on the screen and you can see them. I went too far or too long without recording. And that's because I'm like a slave to Instacart. Like Instacart's on this phone and I just sit there and stare at it. But that's the thing I'm trying to do different. Like I turned down orders uh, sometimes they're six dollars for a mile and because i've got that standard of 650 for three miles or less so uh, 50 cents is just stupid not to take it i'm sitting here waiting on 650 orders and majority of them 80 percent probably stay 650 so i mean like what's the point of not taking a six dollar one you know but i'm not going to go any lower than that regardless of the mileage six dollars has got to be my cap that way if i take one of those and say a 650 and a 650 i'm at least hitting somewhere around 20 hopefully more but you know i'm not going to turn these down if they make sense especially when i'm sitting around waiting on instacart to, to shit a batch I mean, they're never going to you know what i'm saying it's just they're just i don't know so sometimes they do and sometimes they don't you talk to one guy he's making 200 bucks you're sitting here not getting anything on instacart hardly I'm, I'm doing fine with food delivery yesterday i ended up doing well uh, after the very slow start to the day and of course monday knocked it out of the park it was a great day anyway my wife has a daughter's appointment today my mom is taking her um, i'll update you guys on you know how things are going if you guys watch the live stream with me and zach you got to hear her she actually <laughs> said uh, i asked her how she's doing and she said she's doing good if you guys missed the live streams you miss it, you're missing out at least go back and watch them that one with zach was pretty cool i enjoyed it a lot of fun i haven't done a live stream that casual in a while every live stream that i've done has been an interview about me so it's kind of like i don't know you're on the spot kind of but with the live stream like zach is doing and what i'll be doing in the future it's kind of laid back we just answer your questions and talk about our day and such so and, and you get to hear a lot of filthy language <laughs> so no worries you guys i'm on a 650 ahi pokey bar it's only going 1.1 mile I don't expect it to go up, it's just one item. Sorry guys for my nose, man. These allergies are killing me. I'm like, I got like, uh, it's gross, but I have drainage, even from the heat, just in general. I don't know, like a heat sinus or something. <laughs> it's not necessarily pollen or anything. Plus it's rubbing my nose, cause it, you know, it's it got so much issues with the, with the, I guess the heat, I guess, I don't know. Not so much, like I said, it's not so much the, I'm cutting my head off. It's not so much the pollen, I don't think. I got some redness, I look like Rudolph the red -nosed Reindeer. My nose is like flaky because it's you know being attended to so much i'm gonna go to the publix today and try to find something to like ease ease the pain because it is painful too so anyway that's enough about my nose <laughs> you didn't come here to hear about my nose but this is like a daily vlog so to speak of uh what's going on so um i know i know we have talked about the fact that there's only so much to talk about when you do delivery but I will still stand by the fact that when I did pest control 20 years, I sought out pest control videos just to watch them. And I think it's just something we all relate to. It's relatable material. So we just, we come back to watch what, what someone else experiences and what we can learn from each other. And maybe some advice, ah, maybe some advice you can give me or I can give you. And we just help each other with our daily grind. But yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. And we're gonna get on to the next one. I do in fact love that location where you have crumble cookie, ahi pokey bar, five guys, and rock and roll sushi right there all together pretty much. A nice little hangout that I like to be at. This has taken me to 
Executive Parkway, which is another par uh, another Publix, and then you got your oh, Charlie's, Chili's, Jersey Mike's, Hamachi Joe, that area. So it's not leaving me in a bad area is what I'm getting at. Guys, we got this Winn-Dixie order. Six items, 1025 going 3.9 miles. Unfortunately, my dash ends after this. I don't expect it to go up. I don't think any of these uh, shopping orders on DoorDash go up. I, I don't see too many. I don't think I've ever seen any go up, actually. All right, guys, I got back on DoorDash. I did a La Bamba Mexican restaurant for $6.50. I think it turned into $7.50. It's only going about less than three miles. I was on the phone with my wife. She was updating me. I told you guys I'd let you know. She's She no longer has to wear her neck brace. They told her two weeks initially. I guess she's progressing well. The pain that she's having in her shoulders and her back is because it, her body is using muscles that it hasn't necessarily had to use in 20 years. You know, since they straightened up her neck, it's back to the position it was like say at the age of 20 when, when uh, her neck was perfect I guess makes sense it makes sense to me I guess yeah she uh, she can drive but she needs to park way out in the parking lot so she don't have to rubber neck to try to you know move through move her neck around to try to get around cars and shit and stuff sorry <laughs> yeah she just she can't lift over 8 pounds has some restrictions there you know still on pace to go back to work in 3 months or 2, 2 and a half months but she's a good luck charm. I uh, haven't had an Instacart. I've had Instacart offers, but they haven't been worth anything. And then when I was on the phone with her, I had her on speakerphone, and I got a $46, 17-mile, three-shop delivery. They're all pretty easy. In total, I think it's 41 items. I could be wrong. could be 51. But they're they're all easy. It's not it's not anything majorly heavy uh, from what I could tell in the B and C order. Now, I didn't check the A order because it's the, the, the main order of 24 items. But anyway, it works out perfect. B and C or very small things so one can fit in the baby seat the other one can fit in a hand cart and the rest can fit in the buggy so that's like the perfect order to me it's the easiest way to keep them separated it's freaking hot guys it's 96 degrees it fluctuates back and forth uh, from 100 to 96 i think it's going down because the clouds are coming in and more storms are probably going to come in but anyway this this lady i just dropped off to the first one she wanted me she wanted to know if i'd take back her bag or plastic bags to recycle at Publix. I've been doing pest control for 20 years. There's no way in hell I'm taking her bags back with me. Roaches love plastic bags. They love getting in them, you know, like in the drawer and stuff and getting all in them. And I'm not getting roaches in my car because I'm trying to help out somebody recycle. It's just, that's insane. I'm not doing that. I highly suggest you don't do that. I'm not worried about my rating that bad. If she gives me a bad rating because I didn't take plastic bags, I mean, give me a break. I was more worried about the bagging. Like I told them I wanted the first one just in plastic bags open. The second one tied and the third one can go in the baby seat so the girl starts bagging the first one and she's tying and i'm like what are you doing what are you doing stop please leave all these open well she did she left them all open except for one and i call it it <sighs> nets second one she tied and then she started putting in the baby seat and I, I was getting pissed off because it's just i mean this is like your job is not that hard except for pushing the buggies in i get that it's hot as hell but I mean, keep up. It's three orders, I know. But don't tie, tie, and then don't tie and put in the baby seat. I mean, it's pretty simple, man. It's, it's so frustrating when somebody has such a minuscule task and they can't handle it. It drives me nuts. But anyway, you know. Please go ahead in the comments and tell me how she may be having a rough day. <laughs> I'm, not try, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I sound, I sound like I'm being a jerk, but... It just it's just such a minuscule thing don't tie tie and then put the last ones in the baby seat it's so simple dude i mean they even put a little breaker there in between each order so you don't screw it up so, anyway, i used to be a bag boy so i've got i, I can say something <laughs> so i guess that would be my gripe of the day if i had no gripe about something the other thing would be the fact that Instacart told me the first delivery didn't have to be delivered till 5 and then when I get done with the shopping on time it tells me I need to get their ASAP because it was supposed to be there at 402. I'm like what what? Like I don't know that's like the change like I finished the whole shopping experience on time. So how can I be late? I don't I don't get that. I was in the middle of a food delivery when I accepted the Instacart. So it says I arrived at 321 is now 451. So that was an hour and a half for $44. It went down a little because I had to refund some Oreo Cakesters. I don't know what those taste like, but they look pretty good in the picture anyway. Not bad for an hour and a half, say so myself. 
even if it went two hours, it would have been $22 an hour, but I like the hour and a half a little better. All right guys, so I did 11 deliveries on DoorDash today for around $85. And I did four Instacarts today for about $58. You may be wondering, why is my number like 15 deliveries for $293.92? Well, I got paid today for $150 for a sponsorship. It's, it's income, so. That's why I ended up calling it a day a little early because I came home at like uh, 5.30 or so. Yeah, it's it's not what I got paid from YouTube. This is nothing to do with YouTube. Like, that's not even YouTube pay. I haven't got paid YouTube pay because I didn't make $100 last month in time. Like, yeah, I think you have to make $100. I don't normally talk about this stuff. I think you have to make $100 to be paid. And I, and I got a late start, so I, I didn't have a full month. So that's going to carry over to the next payday on YouTube. But anyway, that's, that'll be included probably the end of the end of this month in one of my earnings. But this is for sponsorship for something I did. But it has to do with gig work. Yeah, anyway. So for the day, I made 143 I missed the goal by just a few dollars, uh, maybe, maybe $6 and some change. So we'll get back out there tomorrow and, and make that up. Here are the numbers for the week, sitting at $648. If you take away the $150, then I would have been at like 490, what is that? 490, I would have been at 498.84. So I wouldn't be at the $500 goal that I want to be at, but I would be over my goal because my goal is 150 a day. So 450 is what my goal would have been for today to be able to reach, and I'm over that. I've estimated a mileage deduction of $129.17. I've done 49 trips, 22 hours worked, $2.94 per mile is what I'm averaging, 2.2 trips per hour, and I've driven 220 miles this week. Obviously the dollars per hour is gonna be high because the 150 that I made, the time that I spent doing that was probably minuscule. Like I said, it was a sponsorship thing. It's $28.92 this week since we're adding the 150 in. But anyway, a, tr a, true, a true number would probably be around $23 still. It's been a great journey. Appreciate you guys subscribing. I mean, I'm, I'm creeping in on 1500. I'm still at 13.6 or 13.7, something like that. But yeah, man, I couldn't do this without you guys. If uh, you haven't seen the live stream with me and Zach, Drives Fast, go check it out. It's, it, it's two hours long. I think I appeared right at the 45-minute mark, 50-minute mark, somewhere in there, because I had no power at my house because we had severe weather. Yeah, if you want to check that out, feel free to. But like I say, I got more things coming up this week obviously i've seen the challenge already for this week and keeping that under wraps it comes it came out thursday so if you want to go see that video it was me and zach drives fast versus dash with ash in canada and also delivering with ellen so that was all that was all in good and fun and it was it was a lot of fun i loved it it's the first guys versus girls that's been done that i know of and then monday which will be probably wednesday or thursday when you see it i'll be going against yost malone in a Juneteenth challenge. So I know Juneteenth is on Sunday, but we're going to do it on Monday and uh, go head to head, me and Yost Malone. So if you don't know who Yost Malone is, he uh, does gig work as well. He does a lot of interviews and also he's a ball hawk, if you know what that is. He goes to baseball events and catches home runs and foul balls and practice and stuff. Yeah, he meets a lot of people. So also did an interview with him a while back, so about two weeks ago. So anyway, appreciate you guys being here. We'll catch you next time. Thanks. I just forgot, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I would really appreciate it. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you in the comments. Thanks.